And what's going on guys, Steve Pulaski coming back with another episode of Steve Pulaski Tries It. A show dedicated to the analysis and appreciation of the products we know, love, and consume. So here we go. Today we're going to be tackling Aspire, okay? And I found this in my local Jewel Osco about a week ago. And never heard anything about it, never saw any ad campaign, it just was on the shelf one week and the week before it wasn't. So I was like, okay, we got a new product on our hands, obviously. Okay, now this is interesting because now you're seeing a lot of like this natural sparkling water and a lot of this weight loss water. I know for a while at the liquor store I work at, we used to carry the Sobe Life water. Nobody bought it, so we shipped that back. But um, that's like the new thing I'm seeing nowadays is like um, mineral water, life water, I guess you would say. I don't, I don't know, like natural sparkling water. A lot of stuff that people are very health conscious about. And they're always looking for ways to lose weight, so I guess if they can make some sort of concoction to help people lose weight, I guess then people go for it, whatever. Anyways, this is called Aspire, okay? Right on the front it says calorie burning. No calories, no sugars, no carbs right off the bat. It says right there, <clears throat> depletes three unhealthy things. Nah, I guess calories aren't really unhealthy, healthy, but I mean, they, they eliminate three things that definitely could do harm to your system if they're taken in excess, okay? So, it's also cranberry, naturally sparkling, and refreshing is what it says, okay? we got a little blurb on the back right here I'll go through really quickly before I get into the nutritional facts of this. It says, rethink your drink. Get to where you want to be. Aspire can help. Aspire is a healthy alternative to the morning cup or the lunch break soda. A vitamin and nutrient rich formula with natural caffeine derived from green tea extract, Aspire cre increases metabolism through thermogenics, burning calories and giving you the energy to do the things you love. Created by nutritionists, backed by scientists. Get the skinny. Can't believe I just said that. At drinkaspireusa.com. Okay, so there you go. So, this is supposed to be, they want this to be a substitute to, like, a cup of coffee, a soda, a juice, something unhealthy that has a lot of added sugar to it, or something that just really isn't good for you to begin with. So, they want this to kind of be the go-to drink for people, I guess you would say, I guess for, um, instead of like, these other unhealthy substitutes that we've kind of grown accustomed to. Um, so, let's crack it. First off, the nutritional facts. Um, no calories, no tr no trans fat. The only thing it's got is 55 milligrams of sodium, okay? Then as far as the vitamins go, you have 70% vitamin C, 2% of calcium, 70% ni niacin, 70% vitamin B12, 200% vitamin B6, no 0% iron, 25% biotin, and 70% pathogenic acid, okay? Panthothenic acid, I guess you'd say. I don't know. <laughs> the ingredients are carbonated water, citric acid, taurine, Guarana seed extract, vegetable juice for color, that's a weird thing, uh, sodium citrate, chlorine bitar bitartrate, calcium lactate, and a bunch of other different um, vitamin Bs and everything, that I, and different vitamins and mineral nutrients that I just read off. Let's pop top. Can't let the good times roll. Like I said, it only comes when you're popping towels, bo um, tops off bottles. Can't even make my mind work today. Pour it in the Chivas, Re in the Chivas Regal glass right here. See what we're working with. Just barely gets. This is a 12 ounce can. Almost at 16. Okay, let's do this. Here, as you can see, maroon color, red. Like I said, cran. Like I said, definitely reddish color. You know, predictable for cranberry and whatnot. Smells like cranberries. It's funny because it smells very sweet, but there's no sugar to it. Probably just kind of like the vitamins and stuff and the breakdown of this. And just like the color and everything and the dyes. Well, hold up here. I could be mis... I don't think there is any color on this. I'm an idiot. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a vegetable juice for color. My air, I'm out of it. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, though. It also says here, not recommended for children, pregnant, or nursing women, and those sensitive to caffeine, including known heart conditions. It's weird for something that claims to be so natural to have that kind of a warning on there. But whatever. I guess there has to be some element of caffeine in this thing or something because, like, if it's gonna claim to substitute the cup of um, the cup of coffee or the soda, then um, then it's going to need to have some sort of supplement to it. Cheers. Let's try it.
All right, you can tell right off the bat. Jesus. You can tell right off the bat there's no sugar in this. It's very tart. And like, I mean, you can even see my face pucker a little bit. It's extremely sour, uh, tart. Not really, not incredibly off-putting, but definitely to some sort of a fault. I'm not saying they should have added sugar, but I think they could have put something in here to, mi to minimize like the level of sourness this, that brings this. It's definitely light. There's not a lot to it. It's almost like one of those like diet, zero calorie, zero sugar, crystal light things that you put in your water where it just gives like, it smells stronger than it actually tastes. I mean, there's a there's cranberry undertones to it, but it's definitely not by any means very flavorful in that regard. It, it has the cranberry taste to it. But it just kind of passes, you know what I mean? It just kind of passes, and if you and like I said, if you, when it goes down, you start to feel the like more of the water. You start to get more of the watery taste to it than you do the actual cranberry taste. So it's okay. There's not a lot of flavor to it, and the flavor that does that it does bring is kind of drowned out by the sourness of the drink in itself. So this is a mixed bag. I mean, definitely of um. Of just the fact that, like I said, the flavor is very mild, and whatever mild flavor it brings to the table is kind of ma is kind of you know blocked out by the inherent sourness of the drink. Uh, and and the other thing too is I was just gonna say I can't really judge the effects on this. You know what I mean? As far as it makes me feel better, if it, you know, because I think you have to drink this over a long period of time, or at least on a daily basis. Excuse me in order to see some kind of effects. Me, it's not doing a whole lot for me in terms of its flavor. Definitely, if they're going to need to make, promote these health drinks, they're going to need to find a way to make them tastier. Especially with this, like, this is something that I look at as, like, hydration, you know what I mean? You know, like, if I'm really parched, I'll take a couple sips of this, and I'll be fine. You know, there's not a lot to this. I probably wouldn't drink this on a regular basis or even... I might not even buy it ever again, you know what I mean? Out of four stars, I'm going to give it two, okay? It's not awful, but it's painfully average. It's very sour, too, and doesn't have a lot of flavor to it, you know what I mean? If you're daring people to make this their substitute for coffee or soda or juice or something else unhealthy, you better have a product that's pretty tasty or at least definitely palatable, and this is not the product. Two out of four stars on Steve Pulaski tries it. Thank you guys for watching and for subscribing and supporting these videos. I dearly appreciate it. Be on the lookout for more. I'm going to try and hit you guys with one of these tries. It's once a week now since between only going to school twice a week but still being a full-time student, I have a lot more free time on my hands. So thank you guys for watching and for subscribing. I'll talk to you later. Bye.